Welcome to the Mississippi Express Pass System User Tutorial Videos. This video will guide you through the steps for modifying a route using ViaPoints and Express Pass at permits.mdot.ms.gov. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the Express Pass Tutorial Videos link. Express Pass allows you the option to request certain routes by using ViaPoints. These points can be entered by specifying certain highways to be used or by selecting points from the map to be included when determining the route. Via points are typically entered when the system generated route is not the preferred route. For this example, a route coming into Mississippi on US 72 from Alabama and exiting Mississippi on I-20 into Louisiana has been selected. The origin and destination have already been set. Once the Validate and Run button is clicked, Express Pass will determine the quickest, safest route of travel and display a map of that route. The route is denoted by a blue highlighted line traveling from Alabama to Louisiana. There are two ways to choose an alternate route using Express Pass. If there are alternate routes already available through the system, alternate buttons will be displayed above the map. For this route, there are a total of four routes from which to choose, including the original route. Hovering over an alternate button will display the alternate route. Clicking an alternate button will change the route and the driving directions below the map. If none of the alternate routes travel the highways you would like to go, or there aren't any alternate routes from which to choose, and you would like a specific route, the route can be changed to your liking by entering via points in the Enter Trip panel. Via points can be specific highways or map locations. To route using specific highways, select a highway from the via points drop down list. An empty text field will be displayed to enter the highway names of the preferred route of travel. Enter highways using M. Highway naming in order of travel separated by commas. Interstates require the letter I and a dash before the interstate number. U.S. and state highways only require the highway number. For example, the requested route will be U.S. Highway 72, Mississippi State Highway 7, Interstate 55, Mississippi State Highway 22, and Interstate 10. Separate road names with a comma only and omit any spaces. Enter 72, 7, I-55, 22, I-10 into the via points text field. Once the highways have been entered, click the Validate and Run button to recalculate the trip to include the requested via highways entered. If the requested route has any restrictions, the system will ignore the request and route an approved route. To toggle the restriction highlights on or off, select the restriction checkbox in the map layers box in the top right corner of the map. When the restriction box is checked, all restrictions will be displayed by a red highlight on the map. For the example route, there is a restriction from Highway 7 to Interstate 55 and Express Pass has routed around the restriction. Zoom all the way into the area to view the restriction. Select the Get Restriction Information for Road radio button above the map after zooming in and then click the red highlight located on the highway in question. The Restriction Information screen will be displayed. This screen displays a detailed description of the restriction affecting travel on the roadway selected. For this example, there is a posted weight restriction on a bridge located on this particular section of roadway so the system will not allow us to travel that way. You can then adjust your route as needed or accept the system generated route. If there are several restrictions in an area, select the Restrictions in Box radio button located above the map. Confirm the message stating to select the Rectangle Drawing Tool. Select the Rectangle Drawing Tool located at the top of the map and click to draw a rectangle around the restrictions in question. The Restriction Viewer window will be displayed listing all restrictions within the rectangle drawn. For this example, there are several posted weight restrictions on several bridges located on this particular roadway. Again, the system will not allow travel and has rerouted the permit around the restrictions while still keeping as close to the requested route as possible. If the exact names of the highways are unknown, or if you prefer, 
Via points can also be entered by clicking specific locations to be routed using the map display. Using the same origin and destination as before, click the validate and run button to generate a route. In the via points drop down list, select the find on map option. Then click the select on map link to display the select Latlon vias on map screen. In the focus city text field, enter the city to be traveled through. Click the Go button to have the map zoom in to the focus city. Drag the map along the route to be traveled, selecting points along the way. The requested route will be U.S. Highway 72, Mississippi State Highway 7, Interstate 55, Mississippi State Highway 22, and Interstate 10. Points should be placed at intersections where turns will take place during travel. Once the road where the first point should be located is found, Zoom in close enough to see both directions of travel in order to place the point on the correct side of the road. Select the Select Radio button located above the map. On the map, click a point on the nearest intersection where the first turn will take place. The point will be marked by a numbered blue bubble. Zoom out and continue dragging the map along the route of travel, repeating the previous step and selecting different points on the roads of travel. Be sure to zoom in close enough to select a point on the roadway in the correct direction of travel. The next point will be placed on Highway 22, exiting off of Interstate 55. Additional points can be placed along longer highways and roads close to the nearest intersection of the next turn for accuracy. Please note that via points do not have to be placed in consecutively traveled order. You can decide if you want to add this point to the end of the list or before a specific via point by selecting the option from the drop-down list located above the map. If you forget a point, you can add that point even after you've already selected several via points on the map. For this example, Interstate 55 was missed, so I will drag the map back to Interstate 55, zoom in close enough to see the direction of travel, and select the Select Radio button located above the map. From the Insert drop-down list located above the map, select the point at which the new point needs to be added, and then click a point on the map. Once the points have been selected, click the Done button located above the map. The Inner Trip panel will be displayed listing the selected via points and coordinates. If there are extra or unwanted via points in the list, they can be removed by clicking the Remove link corresponding with the via point listed. Click the Validate and Run button to validate and run the requested route. If there are any restrictions, the system will route as close to the requested route as possible. The map will be displayed with the requested route for your review. The route will be marked with a blue highlighted line. Closely inspect the route, the route description, and the turn-by-turn -turn driving directions located under the map to validate the route of travel. This concludes the Express Pass user tutorial video on how to modify a route using via points. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.